today I'm out checking my Martin traps and I've been uh, having a lot of luck recently so I figured why not make a YouTube video out of it so here's my uh, first YouTube video for you guys. So, uh, just check the first box and uh, we got a Martin already, so hopefully that's a good sign for today. So, I'll take you guys along how to, uh, how I set and bait and what lure I use, so, yeah. So, here we are. Don't look too dark, but looks like a decent sized Martin. Looks like a nice Martin here. Good catch on him. So his leg got caught pretty good there too. So yeah, I'll throw him in the bag. Number one for the day on the first check. So that's pretty good. So I'm gonna change out my bait today I don't usually but well could say add a bit more but all I use is beaver because you ask any trapper about baiting anything and the first thing they ask is do you have beaver so I've been using it a lot and find that it's Pretty, pretty successful so far, so I'll just take my beaver, rub it up and down the tree. Oh, it stinks. Right to the box. I'll the top out the box and whack the beaver in there. For lure, I usually use uh, Burns Martin Magic, but today I'm trying something new because a guy I know who also traps made some of his own and asked me to try it out. So I'm gonna see how that works. It seems pretty potent, so Let's see how it goes. Should probably put some gloves on, I guess. Might be frozen a little bit. We'll see. Whew. That's good stuff. So, all I do, take a little bit on a stick, try and put it somewhere that it won't get on the Martin Spur. So, if, like, I'll hang it on an alder like this. And, uh, yeah. Should be good here. I don't know if you can see that, but put it usually hanging here somewhere. Hopefully it don't fall down. So, we got bait and lure out. Now to reset the trap. So here's my trap set. You can see that. What I do now is get these safeties out of the way. Put it up in the box. 
course. Doesn't that snow not give it a little push? Take my wire. I got a bit of rabbit wire on here, so I'll tie it on. And wrap it around. Take my safeties off. And that's it. So yeah. Got a screw here with a bit of rabbit wire. Here's the top. So yeah, that's my box setup. It's been working pretty good for me lately, so that's number nine in the last I guess month really, so four weekends at it, so yeah, hopefully we get a few more. So here I got a set on a fallen tree. I just uh, wiped all the snow off, but uh, haven't had much luck with these, so I don't know if I'll end up moving the box one of these days, but I guess all you can do is keep trying, so. So I had to start taking the axe in, because as you can see, these tops are getting stuck, so let's see if I can get them. A little smack there. And Nothing to it. Looks like we got another hit, but not what I was uh, hoping for. Poor old squirrel took a good, uh, real good smack here, so get him out of there and rebait and reset this trap. So that's all you can do, really. Not having too much luck here now, but uh, we still got a good few boxes to go, so hopefully we can find something else. traps left and no luck so hopefully these last two will have something to show for them so second last set no luck but how nice it is in here can't beat Labrador it's like the last set today, we got nutting, but I just seen a few partridges back there, so 
go back and see if I can drive him up in the woods a little bit to get a shot at him. So hopefully we get a couple. So I'll let him, I usually spray him with Raid, leave him in this fur bag and by the time the Raid does its thing, they're thawed out enough to take the trap off and then let him thaw a bit more and then it's time for skinning, so. Good spray, huh? Yeah, so, anyways, hope you, uh, hope you guys enjoy, thanks for watching.